In this video, I'll demonstrate how to rip music from audio CDs and add them to your library using Windows Media Player 11. First, verify that there is an audio CD inside of your CD-ROM tray. Once that's been verified, we can go ahead and open up Windows Media Player 11. That's done by clicking on the Start menu, selecting All Programs, and then Windows Media Player. Once Windows Media Player is open, we want to be in the RIP section. And that's done by clicking on the RIP tab near the top. As you can see, my audio CD has been detected with information such as title and artist. Depending on your CD, this information may or may not be filled in. If this information is not filled in, we can go ahead and right click on the album on the left hand side and then choose Find Album Info. This will connect to the internet and look for album information about the CD you have in your CD-ROM tray. Once this has been verified, go ahead and click on Finish. With Windows Media Player 11, you can rip the whole album or just one song. Choose the songs you wish to rip by clicking on the check boxes. Once you've chosen the songs you wish to rip, go ahead and click on the Start Rip button on the bottom right. This will begin the ripping process. Windows Media Player automatically saves the tracks to the My Music folder in your My Documents folder. This can be changed by clicking on the arrow underneath Rip and then going to More Options. You can change the location, file format, as well as audio quality. Once that's been verified, go ahead and click on OK. As you can see, my CD is ripping. and now they've been ripped to my library. If you click on the library tab on the top and we scroll down, you will now see that those two tracks are now added to my library. This is how you add tracks from audio CDs to your library in Windows Media Player 11.